it's Talisha and today I have an absolutely insane haul for you guys and just to give you a little bit of an idea this is one and this is two so yes I have two massive packages to open today from one of my amazing sponsors Mac and Mall Trading now if you guys have been following me for a while, you will know that Mac and Mall Trading has been my longest standing sponsor. I've been with them for years now and they are just a, such an essential part of my team. Also, I do want to apologise if my voice sounds a bit funny. I am sick, so don't mind that. Um, I just have a bit of a cold and my voice has been a bit raspy lately. So, now, all this stuff is, is stuff for Bambi, actually, and... <laughs> To be quite honest, I don't know what I'm actually really getting. Um, I know the colours, which you will see, and these will be Bambi's new show colours. Um, so I know the colours and some little things that I requested that I wanted. So other than that, I actually don't really know what's in here. Um, let's just get right into it now. What bag do I want to open first? So these are Bambi's show colours. Red and black. And here is my boot bag. Oh my god. So this will be for my show boots. That is so nice. And you have the beautiful Mac and Mole Trading logo. Got a zipper up here to keep anything like spurs or whatever you want to put in there. Um, and then another one on the other side. Then you've got handles and everything. And a big zip down here for your boots. The next thing is for a lunge roller now. It is a lunging pad, so if you guys know me, you know that I am a big, 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 big fan of long reining. Um, and if you don't know what long reining is, I am kind of planning on doing a video on long reining, but it is essentially where you use two lunge ropes and you virtually drive them from the ground. Um, it's not side reins, it's nothing like that. This way you completely control the reins just like you would on the horse's back but you do it from the ground so you pick when you release just like you do on the back and that's the only way I lunge I don't believe in side reins and for sewers systems anything like that draw reins I think they're a load of yep um, and I think they are just they, I don't believe there's a proper way you can use them my personal opinion and this is coming from someone who has used them like I'm not perfect we all <laughs> make mistakes and don't know about enough about certain training aids um, but after doing loads of research and looking into them it's just something I would personally never use again so I long rein I do that once a week I think it's so beneficial but yes so this goes under the lunge roller which again I'm using every week so this will get so much use and it even has velcro straps for the lunge roller to go in. It's just so good. I've actually been using Jeff's one on Bambi for quite a while. And that is um, purple and yellow. Because <laughs> those were Jeff's show colours when she was competing. The next thing is the hay bag. I love the Mac and Roll Trading hay bag so much. It has the beautiful logo. Um, it has the net down the side as well. So they can even get hay out the side if they wanted to and a big hole at the front and you can fit like quite a few biscuits in here. I've put like three biscuits of loosen in here before and honestly you can probably even fit more than that. It's pretty roomy. Um, but yeah that's that. has the nice clip at the top here and you can loosen it and tighten it as well which is really handy. Lunge rope. Oh this one is going to live in my float because it's so nice. So it is red and black as you can see but then there is the long sturdy clip in the middle. Next I have float boots. So this is the front pair for her front legs. As you can see big nice strong velcro. Um, heart like a strong plasticky type material at the bottom so they're durable they're not going to break if the horse steps on the back of them um so they're the front ones then for the back they cover their hocks um nice and tall much the same as the front just they are taller and cover their hocks perfect next we have the head collar that matches 
Um, again, obviously red and black, and the black is a little bit sparkly. How cute! And my favorite features on these head collars is the clip or under the chin. I love head collars like that. They are so much easier. It's a safety feature, and it's just easier to slip on and off. And then to go with that, red and black lead rope. Love it. So. We have in size 6-3 Bambi's show rug. Um, now this will be up probably before I actually have it all on Bambi. So I will put up photos of horses in the show set. So I don't have to take it out completely. But as you can see, beautiful red and black piping with the chest straps there. So, so nice. But I will have a full photo of what it looks like up currently on the screen. And then to go with that, we have a beautiful red skinny hood. Lovely bright red. Red and black, of course. I don't even know why I need to say it. <laughs> um, and you can, if you like these show sets and any of this gear, there are so many other colours that these all come in. So I really recommend checking out Mackinac Trading's Facebook page because there are so many options. Okay, here we have the jacket bag. I'm going to have to stand up for this one. Ooh. So this is for all of your show jackets. You can have your name, your phone number, whatever you want in this little like card sleeve thing. Got zippers here, you can use them for whatever you want. Handles of course, and then you have a coat hanger hole through the very top so you can feed the coat hanger through and still hang it up. Um, now I've had all these gear bags as well in Jep's show colours for years and they are amazing, I love them. They are so strong and durable and keep all of your stuff nice and clean. So the next one I'm going to show you is a hay bag. So that's the bottom. <laughs> you have handles, big handles. And then that's the front of it there. You can see the Macmillan Trading logo. Big hay bale and bag. And there are handles at the side and holes so your hay can still breathe and stay fresh. Um, now, these hay bale bags are big, right? They're really big. I use these when we travel to the longer shows where we go around way for a week. Now, I can actually fit a full hay bale in this as well as extras. So when I went to Pony Club Nationals, for example, I had a loosen bale in it for the week and then this side I actually could fit some containers full of my grain. It was so handy especially if you get the compact bales as well and with the hay bale bags as well you don't even need to use them just for hay you can use them for any sort of storage it shows. The next bag is a helmet bag really nice and padded super super padded Super padded for your helmets, like your show helmets or just your normal helmets, whatever you choose. I currently, my other helmet, my other helmet bag currently has my show helmet, like my um, my velvet helmet in it. And I will probably leave my velvet helmet in that bag because I actually have a new Sam Shield on the way. Um, as my current one is not up to standards anymore, unfortunately. So I custom made a pretty nice looking Sam Shield and that will go in this and you have a nice little carry strap as well which you can lengthen you can also undo it here it's a little clip my next item is a feeder these are perfect for at the float as you can see that's the front of it open this up with this strap you can hang it up against the float and they can have their grain in it really really handy it fits a lot of food I got a lot of food these are amazing the next gear bag I'm going to show you is my favorite so these can be used for many many different reasons um, you can use this for your tack you can just fit so much in it you can put rugs in it or you can use it as a, like an overnight bag so you yourself, all of your luggage can match all of your horse's luggage. Um, it can honest, I've used it for both things. It's great for storing rugs in, plenty of room, really, really good. You've got your shoulder strap and 
your normal carry straps here. Lots of room as you can see. The next bag is the bridal bag. Again, you have your carry straps. You have your zippers either side. And then this can actually fit six bridles. Six bridle hooks, three on this side, three on this side. And then at the bottom, on both sides, you have more storage. You have a zipper on both, and then some storage here. These are great bridle bags. I adore these. You guys know me. I have a thing for saddle pad sets. We all know this. We all know this is my obsession. I love my matchy matchy, of course. And most of all, the matchy matchy things I love most are saddle pad sets. As I always say, it would not be a Talisha haul without a saddle pad set. <laughs> So we have the black and red dressage cut size full saddle pad. So nice. You've got your beautiful logo down the bottom there. Your billet straps and your girth strap. To go with that, we need the bonnet, of course, and the polo wraps. Love them so much. I can't wait to use this set. So, my camera is flashing at me and telling me I'm about to run out of battery, so thankfully I'm at the end of my tackle. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you're interested in any of this gear, please check out Mac and Mall Trading's Facebook page. They will be linked in the description of this video. I highly recommend all their gear. I've tried everything. <laughs> I've tried all of their products. Amazing, amazing stuff. Um, like all of this stuff I've had before, just in Jeps colours. And I've also had some of them in Kai's colours when I had Kai as well. And some other stuff for Bambi too. Um, I recommend all of this stuff. I've never had an issue. I just noticed my dog is locked in my horse paddock. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> but yes, I have loved their gear for years and will continue to love their gear for years to come. So yes, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next week. Bye!